I'm not Superman. It's the supernatural. Let me explain to you the supernatural. If he takes your natural, make it super. If he takes that natural body that you have and he plays the supernatural power and gives you authority to step into the realm of the supernatural, let me explain to you the supernatural. If he takes your natural body that you have and he plays the supernatural power and gives you authority to stand on things and walk over things, yes, he cast out things. Do they want to be supernatural tonight? Let me tell you. Let me tell you the reason why you're going through your frustration and going through your evil days is because the supernatural is tired of the flesh. I'm talking about power. I'm to the function. Turn to your neighbor and say, you need more power. You need more power. So you're going to unction. function. The power I'm talking about is the power of the Holy Ghost. And that comes when you surrender to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the deity of the Godhead. He is the one. That is the Spirit of God. He is the one that comes from God. He's the one that the Father said that I'm going to send in your name. He's the one that Jesus said, I have to go so the Holy Spirit can come. If I don't go, he told his disciples, if I don't go, then you can't come forth. If I don't go and sit back in my seat, then you can't walk in dominion of power. If I don't go, then you can't have greater works. You can't do greater things than I have. Aren't you glad that you got a daddy that wants you to do greater? Aren't you glad that you're supposed to be greater than what you are? Aren't you tired of being great, but you won't be greater tonight? I'm here to tell you, you need to make a decision. To walk in the greatness that God's called you. Amen. Because the sacrifice, the new covenant has already been done. Come on, man. When Jesus, when he did what he did, he took himself on the cross and he sat on the right hand. He's sitting now. And he said, it's finished. Amen. Now he's waiting on us that has called ourselves as believers to receive the work. In order for you to get, get dominion and to have the, I call it activation for demonstration. Activation for demonstration. Before you can walk in dominion and power and authority, the Bible says, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. But the power is not for you to say that I have power. He said you should have power to be witnesses. There you go. Come on, you hear it. You went there. Some of y'all have power, but you ain't witnesses. Nobody can see your power. There's no reason to have power if you're going to put it under the bush. There's no reason for having power if you're going to stay in the church. Come on, come on, Jesus. You need power that people can see. How many know that there's a light out in the earth? Come on, and there needs to be the light in the world. But if you have power, you can't light up the world. Come on, come on. If you don't have no activation in the Holy Ghost, you can't be the light to the dark world. If you are darkness trying to light up light, you can't light up like because doctors and like hate each other. Right. And you wonder why you hate yourself. Because wow. you're operating in darkness and light. I don't know why I keep going there. But I want to help you to understand. you got to choose ye this day who you're going to serve. Either you're going to be a Christian or you ain't. Come on. I'm sorry, the scripture. I, if, if you can help me for those that are theologians in the house. Do you have any? We all can be in the middle. Oh, no. <laughs> If you got one, help me. I'll, 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 I'm willing to look at it. But the Bible says, I'd rather that you either be hot or cold. That's right. There's no mix. Stop the mix. That's words. Stop, stop, stop making the scripture say what you wanted to say. Come on. Don't I'm sorry. Track. Don't add a You having sex out of wedlock is not according to the word of God. The Bible says no. He said the woman and the man is supposed to lead and cleave. Yes. That's where intimacy comes in. I'm sorry. I'm just going to help you yes, out. You can't have power doing things that is not of the light. That's right. You can't. I'm telling you. If you want to be that person that God has called to walk in wow. in the places and destroy yes. the darkness, yes. you cannot be operating in darkness. Wow. You have to walk in dominion power. You're right about it. And dominion power comes with you receiving the Holy Ghost. But it also goes along with Minister uh, Billiard, so I'm, uh, Benita Gilliard said earlier. He, it says it comes from discipline. Yeah. See, us as Christians, we don't want to live a disciplined life. Come yeah. on now. We want the fruits of we want the fruits of heaven, but we don't want to be disciplined with them. We want to be we don't want to be great stewards over what He's given us. We want to be able to live any way we want, but still have the blessing because I pray and because I'm saved, I'm supposed to get it. Let me tell you, God's gonna shut you off. Because Deuteronomy says that He says you either you will be blessed in the field, you will be blessed if you're over obedient. But if you're disobedient, you will be cursed with the curse. And so I'm here to tell you tonight as I close. If you're going to walk in power, if you're going to walk in authority, you've got to learn to receive God's work on the cross. Amen. And you have to know that it's a short that it's done. Now, the Old Testament means they had to work. They had to do works. Yeah. <clears throat> We're in the New Testament now. Uh -huh. 
that Jesus has already fulfilled his obligation. Yeah. So your sinful nature is not because you're sinful, it's your choice. Come on. Choice. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. And it goes back to the scripture that says, he said, I'm going to put my word in your heart that you would have a desire to want to live right. That's it. You can't just put the Bible in your back and think you're going to live right. right. That's so. You have to ask the Holy Ghost to put it in your heart. Mm -hmm. And how many know that you can't put it in your mind because your mind ain't going to remember? That's right. what I am. <laughs> the scripture yeah. says that the Holy Spirit's job is to remind us and bring back to our memory yes. of what we already supposed to know. Yes. So you try to jot it down right on a piece of paper and put it in your journal, that's why the journal lost now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's because God's trying to tell you that I need somebody that's got more than just basically they want the, they want the blessings for me. I want somebody to love me. Yes. Love me. Yes. I want somebody to love me for me and not what I can give to you. Because I'm going to give it to you anyway. Right. But can you love me because I love you? Right. Right. Can we have a working relationship? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. can, can we talk to you? Yeah. Can we have a conversation with you not telling me what you need? Come on, wow. that's good. Yeah. Can we just talk a little bit? Can I hear you say you love me just once? Yeah. <laughs> or you would tell me about all the things that everybody does to you? Are you going to tell me about all the things that people hate you? Yeah, yeah. Or are you going to let me love them when you love me back? Yeah. Can tonight you put the wall down wow. and let me get closer? How many know that if you could play softly? Oh, wait, we said something else used to happen to me. How many of you in the mega church? Amen. <laughs> How many know that the only way you can come close to God is if He draws you closer? Right, right. It, it, I know he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. But how many know that God is so, he's so protective of himself that he, he has to draw you or bid you to come? How many know that you can't get saved unless God says come? That's right. Yeah. No man can come unto him unless he's calling. Uh-oh. That's how, 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 no man can come unto him unless God's wrong. Definitely in my closing, you got some decisions to make. <laughs> To be able to walk in the power. Because, let me say this. Because you think you don't want to get AIDS or you don't want to go to hell, it's not a good enough reason for you to stop. It's your right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Come on. You better watch out. <laughs> Am I right? Because let me be honest. God told me some things that I need to stop doing and I kept doing it. Even when he gave me the, the what do we want to say, the label sticking or the, 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 the privacy guard and told me, if you do this, it's like smoking cigarettes. On the package, it tells you that if you smoke, the warning, the warning says you will die <laughs> and you will die before you're 40. Oh, my God. But we still smoke. Yeah. Wow. That's how we as believers, what yeah, we do is yeah, yeah, we yeah, see yeah. the warning signs that the Lord says, uh -huh. no, you're going to get this, and we'll still do it. Going. So I'm going to tell you. Mm. Just because you don't want to catch nothing ain't enough to stop you. Right. Wow. 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 You got to do it because you want to do it. And let me say, it's not you. Mm. It ain't going to stop your flesh. Mm. How many know that flesh is crazy? Flesh. Right. 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 And flesh always want to eat. That's right. That's right. Wow. Right. That's right. That's right. And if you feed it, it's going to want more. That's right. So you think it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to eat it this one time and I'm done. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We're gonna, I'm going to do it this last time. We ain't going to do it this time. How about we do it one more time? Like Lady Sage. You go your way, I'm going to go mine. Oh my God. How many know that don't work? Amen. Show no. You have to let the Holy Ghost or let the Holy Spirit be Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. How many to be Lord? The Bible tells us that. When you have two masters, mm -hmm. you'll love one and hate the other. That's right. If you have two lords, you'll hate one and love the other. Amen. And sometimes our souls are so split in the middle because when I would want to do good, evil is always present. So I choose evil over good. Right. And it's because I have not made a decision that I'm going to give them my heart, my mind, and my soul. Mm. So I ask you tonight. Mm. Ah, thank you. What side are you going to be on? Mm -hmm. And if you're going to be on this side, yeah. you need unction to function. Mm -hmm. You need power. <laughs> you can't live saved without the Holy Spirit. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. You can't live saved without the Holy Spirit. Oh, and the Holy Spirit being released and received in your life.